Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of Music of Today's World. Today it is my honor to introduce my next spotlight of Taiwanese American composer, Dr. Shi Hui Chen. Born in Taiwan, Dr. Chen has been in the U.S. since 1982. Her list of incredible acclamation includes a Goddard Lieberson Fellowship, a Kusevitsky Music Foundation Commission, um, a Guggenheim Fellowship, and as well as a Fulbright Senior Scholarship. Her work has been performed widely across the U.S. as well as abroad. She is known for her refined balance between the tradition of the East with the polyphonic practice of Western art music. Dr. Chen serves on the Asia Society Texas Centers of Performing Arts and Culture Committee and as the direct director of the 21st Century Contemporary Cross-Culture Asia Festival, Asia Music Festival. And she is currently professor at the Rice University Shepherd School of Music. When I was 14, um, my only influence and passions, I would say, is Taiwanese opera. Uh, living at my grandma's countryside hotel, watching uh, Taiwanese opera at lunchtime was so much more fun than practicing Bach two part invention on piano. I run away to write down the abstract musical notes on the blank piece of paper is extremely terrifying. Um, Sometimes I would begin to write down thoughts to myself, um, to talk to myself. Um, the most effective way I find is just empty myself and be quiet, do nothing. Um, gradually, I would uh, go in the flow um, and, and think about the, the musical notes. I'm 100% behind abstract music. It tells a story and evokes thoughts. It reaches the level that words and imagery cannot provide. On the other hand, the multidisciplinary approach can also provide a space and a level that abstract music is not able to reach. Um, in the end, these are just tools for artists to express themselves. Why not? Different artists and different uh, occasion and different ways of expressing self, it's all uh, possible. It's natural for artists to reach to their background to create a more personal voice. For example, uh, to combine my Taiwanese opera song with Bach invention, piano music, totally makes sense to me. They are both essential and they make who I am today. Uh, for me though, I think it's more artistic than political. Uh, however, this uh, artistic, artistic decision can in turn express the political point of view. I'm glad you mentioned what is the American sound today. Um, we know culture and art flow constantly. What is 19th century American sound or 20th century American sound could be quite different from the 21st century American sound. Um, as African Americans and Asian Americans voice become stronger, they can be part of this American sound. And uh, this make the American sound more interesting and more complex. Uh, this is uniquely American, and I think American sound in 21st century is extremely diverse and interesting. Arts ask questions. Uh, it reflects our daily life, including our social situations. Over the centuries, there are many works, both popular and art music. They all um, addressing the contemporary political issue. My current project, for example, it's a storytelling multimedia uh, project. Um, it talk about my personal story as well as uh, my belief and uh, focus on cultural identity and uh, empathy. I, uh, this is the first time I use music to talk on my own personal story. It's scary on the other hand, um, because it's, uh, it's scary because it's personal, but on the other hand, uh, by doing this, I feel totally invigorated and empowered. I don't know what my future music will sound like or I will be focusing on. 
um, I'm dying to explore and to find out. most recent project which you will get a snippet of right now is messages from a Formosan village. It is a storytelling multimedia theater work about empathy, diaspora, and cultural identity. To watch the full video, go to the link below and click on it to, and to read about it, make sure to go to the full video and read its description box. <laughs> Thank you. 
Watching today. If you'd like to learn more about Shi Hui and her works, please go to her website. The link is also in the description below. And make sure to check out her YouTube channel as well. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure you give me a thumbs up and, and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date for all future Music of Today's World episodes. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon.